I'm today Kroom with a profile of the Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival. Talk to some key people. First, the man at the top of the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. Kevin McMahon, president of the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. Pittsburgh Cultural Trust is thrilled uh, that we have another wonderful Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival lined up during the first two weeks of June. Uh, it's a, a full, full program of all free, open to the public. Can't wait to have the kind of eclectic programming presented this year. Probably more diverse programming than we've ever had before in the history of the Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival. Uh, everything from our world famous Pittsburgh Symphony, which has become a tradition, to now Jazeri X. Uh, we've got hip hop, we've got some great folk tunes, we've got all of the wonderful artisans, more than 350 artisans from around the country and a few from around the world, um, more than we've ever had before at the Dollar Bank Three Works Arts Festival. Uh, to be able to perform this year and be on the main stage, um, it's cool, you know, something that you've been, you know, I've been going to just to go to because it's kind of like this yearly Pittsburgh tradition to now be a part of it, performing, and I'm doing a workshop, and our One Hood Media Academy students are going to be performing and doing all types of stuff. So we're excited, you know, as a group to be included. Getting jiggy with it. Getting jiggy with it. Getting jiggy with it. Sprained foot right now. You got a sprained foot? Yeah. And you doing that? Yeah. How long? How old are you guys? I'm 25. I'm 33. What? What? And how long you been doing this? Since I was 12. 12? Uh, since I was 17, so 16 years, 15 years. Yeah. How did you start doing this? Well, he he started because I I was teaching him when he was 12 at a studio. Um, I started. Um, just because I checked a book out of the library in high school, actually. And I got to meet with some other people, and we, we built from there. You read about it? In a book, yeah, because it was like in the late 90s, so the internet wasn't real, right? So <laughs> <laughs> So you read about it, and then you started dancing yep. and doing this. What do you call it? Breaking. Breaking. Uh, or b-boying is the appropriate terminology. Ah, so you're a b-boy. Yeah, b-boy. Ruth Richardson. I do watercolors. Ah, and how long have you been painting watercolors? Oh, I've been painting watercolors for years. Uh, probably um, back in the 70s. <laughs> What's your inspiration for your watercolors? My life and the things that I had to struggle with and the people that I've met and uh, the things that are happening in the world that I, I'm inspired by my feelings about those things as they happen. I can deal with racial tension, uh, the idea of uh, how people should work together and get together, but I might use flowers to, de to demonstrate that. I mean, flowers all grow in the same garden. They get along and they still bloom. The God's building with God's children. Praying I give them that, oh my God feeling, God willing. Allah heal them, they cry and I hear their pain, their tears collect like raindrops on window panes when it gets darker than that dress on your widow's frame at your grave. Holding tight to the kids that live with your name, just hold on, I'm reaching, I'm swimming out to the deep and my heart beating's a beacon, we gonna make it through the weekend. Lord knows the deeper the sore goes, it makes me wanna wear my armor, just call it my wardrobe. The last chapter of a story that was foretold, the slave promised more gold, but left with pay less, you can call him a poor soul. Who gives a damn about a label when you just want warm clothes? Put the ladle in the soup to just get one more bowl. It's cold as the North Pole, so when you see that dot dash, this is not Morris Cold, just a little, little something, little something. Little lyricism, you know what I'm saying? I'm Danae Groom for UrbanMediaToday.com.